Hey guys, my name is Klebkile, also known as Stacia K, and today we will be doing a Netflix movies review on the movie that recently came out actually on the 16th of July called Fatal Affair. Before we get started, I would like to issue a disclaimer that all thoughts and opinions stated in this video about this movie are solely my own. I also do need to state that I'm not a professional critic, I just like watching movies and stating my opinions on them. That's it. The concept itself is not a new one. We've seen this type of movie before where an ex-lover, quote unquote, turns into a stalker and then dies at the end of the movie after a sight scene. We've seen it with movies like Acrimony and Obsessed with the bow breaks, the perfect guy. It's not a new concept. But I also do need to state that I, in my own opinion, I do think that about 90% of movies made are not new concepts. It's just how you tell the story that actually makes the difference um, between your movie and the other movie. A bit of a backstory, um, Nia Long's character is a lawyer who's married to Stephen Bishop's character and they basically moved to a new place and she's starting her own law firm at the new place. So she's finishing up work at her old firm and starting her new firm and upon her last days at the new firm, a new lawyer is employed to work at the firm and it just so happens to be Omar Epps' character who is Nia Long's old friend from college. And they go out for drinks, they almost do something bad. They don't actually do it but they kiss and they almost do it but nothing really happens. In this movie there is a daughter, a teenage daughter who's in college. The daughter also has a boyfriend um, who appears two or three times. Besides the fact that the boyfriend does, I do not see the relevance of both characters in this movie. I do understand that him dying or the boyfriend dying might be part of the storyline, but I still don't see the significance or the relevance of his character. Because other than the fact that we know that he dies and we see him dead, we don't get shown how he died. We know that Omar Epps' character killed him, but we don't see how he dies. And once he's dead, his family, or there's no post story for him. So there's no funeral. Um, his family doesn't come to maybe claim the body or anything like that. So once his character dies, that's it. Which brings me back to the... I, or me just trying to understand the relevance of his character. The daughter's character is also something that I personally don't think we needed in this movie. She doesn't do anything besides come back home and fill the background. Actually, I do think Estelle's character has more relevance. Estelle's character is the secretary she works with near long and she appears once or twice she dies as well Estelle's character is the first one to die we don't see how she dies once Ellie goes to the office or once near long's character goes to the office she finds Estelle's character dead on the floor and then she races back home when she gets back home that's where she sees the boyfriend dead so twice they killed people without us seeing how they died and twice they left people's stories hanging. So in terms of Estelle's character, I don't really think we needed to know if she gets buried or not because again, she is the secretary and she appears maybe once or twice in the movie. But when your daughter has a boyfriend and the boyfriend dies at your house, I think the family... The boyfriend's family should have been involved in some way. What they also did was that Nia Long's character has a friend, Courtney. So the character's name is Courtney. She gets hurt by Uma Epps' character. We don't get to see her recovery. We know that she's okay, but they don't show us that she's okay. This, I didn't really like this movie, except for the first three minutes of the movie. I also do need to say that this movie generally was 
why the characters or the lovers in the movie didn't have any chemistry the only people funny enough the only characters that had chemistry was the daughter and the boyfriend which is sad for me it's sad because i really love neil long and i really love all my apps i do think that they i think that they're great actors but in this particular movie something was off for me um steven bishop i've just personally never really been a fan of steven bishop's acting i don't know that's just me it has nothing to do with him personally as a human being i just never really liked his acting and this particular movie didn't change that for me so i still hold the same opinions regarding his acting i mean that could have affected my opinions on the movie i don't know i don't think so um i don't think an entire movie would be ruined for me just because i don't like one person's acting in the movie but i didn't really like this movie it took me the whole day to watch the movie literally a whole entire day i kept pausing to do other things like i went to play with my knees i paused and went to bother my dad because that's the type of person i am i just paused the movie to do a whole lot of miscellaneous things that honestly i really didn't even want to do so I, I just couldn't sit down and watch the whole movie and i'm not that type of person like when i'm watching a movie i would like to sit down and watch the whole movie without interruptions or without pausing and i paused this movie maybe four four or five times just to go and do other things and at some point i really wanted to stop but i was already committed to this i was like okay well i'm gonna watch it it wasn't like when i was watching old god where i literally sat through the whole thing and i didn't have snacks i didn't have anything i was just sitting there by myself with nothing watching old god i actually really liked the movie but generally regarding this particular movie i don't think it's worth your time if you haven't watched it as yet and you would like to watch it i wouldn't recommend that you do unless if you do want to watch it just because you want to see near long in a movie or Uma Epps. Other than that, if you're actually watching the movie for enjoyment, I don't think you're going to enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. That's the sad part. They would advertise it and you the way they advertise the movie, I thought I was going to love this movie. I was like, oh my god. But I didn't like it. That's just me. That's my opinion. If you want to take it or if you value my opinion, don't go watch the movie if you don't value my opinion also still don't go watch the movie because you will regret watching it and like i said this movie was dry like really dry okay if i have to give the movie a rating i would give it a two out of five stars and that's me being really generous that's it and that concludes the video like i said earlier on disclaimer all thoughts and opinions stated in this video are solely my own i'm not a professional movie critic i'm just a person who likes watching movies and giving my opinion on them that's it if you like the video please leave a thumbs up on the video also comment down below if you agree with my opinions even if you don't agree with my opinions comment down below your opinions and then we can have a conversation Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you next time.